Hi everybody. For those of you who came over from Adventure Band Man, uh, Brian's channel, I wanted to update you. I had left a message over there for him so he knew, but it suddenly occurred to me that I forgot to tell you guys, and I apologize for that. When um, Brian helped me hook up my solar, this unit here did not work. We had um, the screw here was stripped, so it wouldn't hold the cables. So I had to contact Renergy, and they were really great. They sent me a brand new one right away. Um, they got it out. It didn't take any time at all. Um, I was able to hook it up, and bam, it worked right away. And as you can see, like right now, it's pulling in 13.1 volts to charge my battery. You can see right here, it's got a little thing going across. Maybe you can see that. Anyway, it works great. So I have plenty of juice when I need to charge things, which is awesome. But the thing that I noticed that was driving me crazy is after I got this set up, I have this power strip and it was sitting here in this metal basket. So when I would go to charge my phone or a Kindle or whatever, backup batteries, I ended up with all these cords just clustered in here and it was just driving me crazy. So I finally got part of my to-do list done, which was first of all to mount this power strip to my wood trim. This particular one I've had for quite a while and it actually has holes in the back of it specifically to mount it. So that made it really easy for me. Um, but I highly recommend doing this because it's out of the way and it's great. Um, so then what I did is this power cord actually goes around to the other side of my van. I have it tucked up in here. You probably can't see it because it's behind that. Um, you'll be able to see it right over here. There you go. And I have that hooked there. So that way I can have power over here in case I want to plug something over here on this side where I have um, my shelves and where I keep my kitchen. You can see I got my tea kettle. Um, the light I'm currently using, I'm going to put it in front so it's going to change the lighting a little bit. This light I got specifically for my kitchen. Um, I put it right there. It's magnetic. And that way I can see when I'm cooking no matter what time of day or night it is, I can actually see what I'm doing. But the thing that I really, really, really want to show you, the reason I'm making this video, is not those two things. But back here, ha, ha, I have these. I have two of them. And you can go to a dollar store, I did at least, and three baskets for a dollar. And what I did is I mounted two with screws. You can see the screws back there right there. And I put in a multi USB in this one. I ran the cord from the power strip back on the top of the wood or behind the wood and then through the thing, through the plastic thing. And like this is a backup battery. I have another backup battery. And then I plug my USB cords in here. And then my USB cords come out through this one and behind the wood panel, the wood trim to this one where I can actually plug in my phone, plug in my Kindle, a backup battery here, and I can charge those things. And they're conveniently located right by the head of my bed. So if I'm reading my Kindle for school and it starts to go down, I can just reach up here this is the remote control for my inverter. So I can just press this button. Until the green light comes on, there's a little beep. You probably didn't hear that. Um, and my inverter's on, and now I have power to these. And I can plug things in. So I can plug in my phone or Kindle or whatever at night, and it's going to sit in this basket. And they really do. The basket bends a little bit, but it holds really, really well. So I haven't had any problems at all. And I can charge my phone and everything overnight while I sleep off my battery. I do try to charge everything I can during the day, of course, but it's convenient so I don't have to really worry about it at nighttime. So if I have an alarm, I have to get up to in the morning or if there's an emergency call or text that comes in the night, I don't have to search for my phone. It's right here. It's in its basket. It may or may not be charging, because I, if it doesn't need charged, I won't, but I can still set it up in this basket at night and it will be there handy for me. And I wanted to share that little thing with you um, 
because every little bit of organization and ease to get to things in van dwelling is huge, super, super important. So that little fix it that I worked up, I thought was pretty nifty and hopefully you'll find it useful or it'll um, spawn some ideas for you too. Have a great day y'all. Take care.